true summer versus true winter color palettes. Differences and similarities of true summer versus true winter color types are unique in their own way. It can be simultaneously defined as the most common palettes and the most diverse ones at the same time. I will take Lizzie Kaplan and Bella Heathcote as typical representatives of summer color type and Georgina Rodriguez with Monica Bellucci as winter types. You can spot the difference in those pictures right away. The hue and the contrast comes first and there is a clear visible difference between the two types. You can spot it with the naked eye. Skin tone is always the basis of color. In the case of summer, it is always a cold undertone. The skin of the summer seems noble, fragile and much thinner than the winter type. There are three main descriptions of this skin type. Very fair skin, skin of cold pink color undertone in which vessels and veins are almost translucent, cold light beige skin tone as well. If a summer woman has freckles, they are gray or ashy. Also like spring, this color tends well. However, this is not a hard and fast rule, there is a clear difference how true winter tense and true summer tense. The intensity is tremendously different. Note, usually stylists do not test for a color type until more than two weeks have already passed since the person turned from the vacation because a tan, especially a fresh tan, makes the skin tone warmer. Summer hair color. As for the shade of the hair, there is also a fairly large scale. Naturally, we are talking about a natural shade of the hair given by nature, not burnt out during summer vacation and not obtained as a result of dyeing. Natural hair color in summer can vary in any shade of light brown from light to dark blonde. Hair may not be very light, like Lizzie Kaplan, a contrasting summer with dark brown, blonde brown hair, which fluctuates in color as well. In summer type, the ashy hair color is very common. It is a cold ash blonde, sometimes gray brown shade. It can be light or dark as well. It is summer women who dye their hair more often than others because in this way they look brighter and basically they just add more contrast to their own appearance. Changing hair color can greatly transform a summer woman and add brightness and catchiness which her appearance sometimes actually might need. Summer color type eyes. The eyes of summer can be grey-blue, grey-dark blue, green-blue-brown green, blue, from light to quite dark, grey-green, there are a lot of options here. Summer is the most different color type in its external expression. This photo shows another example of a summer color type, blue eyes, ashy hair and really fair skin. In addition, a woman of a summer color type can have brown eyes of any tone, from light to almost black. In the photo we can see the difference of hair and eye colors. The summer color type has another interesting feature. Usually they do not look expressive enough without the makeup. Here you can see the difference. Therefore. The difference between the image of the same summer type woman with and without makeup is very significant here, perhaps the strongest among all color types. Not all of them, but there definitely be different levels of contrast, especially those with really grey natural hair tones. True summer versus true winter differences. This feature makes the representatives of the summer color type the most in demand on the runway, because they are like canvases for painters and artists. Neither Bellucci nor Georgina Rodriguez can be molded into any image like summers. They are limited by the brightness of color of their own appearance. A summer girl, depending on the color of her hair, makeup, outfit sometimes, can change beyond recognition. She can be femme fatale, she can be thinner and more refined, she can be literally anything she wants to be. 
If the uniqueness of the spring color type was magic, airiness, subtlety, and naturalness, then the uniqueness of the summer color type is that its representatives are very feminine, sophisticated, and the most important, diverse. Their neutrality in color gives ample opportunities for creating different images. Therefore, it is a sin to call summer girls as gray mice. They are definitely not. Textures and fabrics for true summer versus true winter. This is quite a difference between what textures each and every person can wear, depending on the seasonal color palette. As it has been mentioned before, summer types usually are the owners of very thin looking skin, therefore the textures near the face need to be more subtle. What we put right in the zone of our portraiture is the primary image that is going to construct our whole look. As the face is our primary communicator, this is also where the impression about us starts. Um, for Lizzie Kaplan, it is obvious that such a harsh color as pitch black would look suffocating has it been holistic, but in the case of black thin lace is very advisable. It makes her look classy and sophisticated, and this is where she can use the pitch black color. For Georgina, this is the whole different advice. She is a woman of rougher and shinier textures like Bellucci. She requires to wear leather-like, more diva-like textures appropriate for true winter, so that you can notice her from a distance of the galaxy. She will lose her lushness if you try to put her in thin lace, very delicate textures like silk or plain cotton. Her appearance will not stand out as much as she would normally want to. True summer colors. What do we need for natural coloring in case where there are no special contrast in person's appearances? Eyes, skin, hair. Nothing really stands out sharply like winter. The photo over here is a vivid example of the true summer. There is nothing too striking about her appearance. Her skin is not very fair, her hair is not extremely dark, and her eyes are not very dark and not very bright as well. When we put winter colors on such a delicate appearance, it creates an undesirable contrasting effect. Even though both true summer and true winter are called in undertone, this is the similarity, the contrast they wear should be different, otherwise you can ruin the whole picture. Can true summer jump into bright summer color palette? Yes, the key is the contrast here. If you change it to a deep and darker color, you also create an opportunity to jump to more contrasting palettes. But this is a very subtle choice to make. If you change your hair, for example, for a color that doesn't suit you, you also might ruin the holistic composition of your color palette as well. But if you do it right, you preserve the seasonal color, but just add a pinch of deepness and add to color palette. Adding winter type colors. Winter is perhaps the brightest, catchy, spectacular and fatal color type of all. Its typical representative is of course Bellucci, but I decided to go deeper and chose Georgina Rodriguez. Winter has several differences from summer, uh, which is consonant in color. Usually they have thicker looking skin, more contrasting colors, often very white, almost bluish whites of the eyes. If we compare these color types, then the winter skin is lighter and the hair is darker. Winter women are more cashy and they normally look like divas. Not necessarily, but in this case, yes. However, they can also add some natural or artificial tan, but the contrast will not change in that case. They might just add up to the color palette, so they will widen their horizons. There are several types of this skin. A very light, noble porcelain shade, like for example, Bellucci or Georgina, they do have white skin naturally. Such skin tans quite well as well. The hair of the representatives of a winter color type can be dark brown, brown black, pure black, pitch black, blue black, as well as ashy blonde. 
sometimes you can hear the erroneous opinion that the light brown color cannot be in the winter color type. Brunette winters uh, make a very catchy and spectacular impression. They are very bright in appearance. Georgina Rodriguez cannot fit into an exquisite, subtle, romantic herring. She is catchy and spectacular. No matter how you dress her in and what makeup you use for her, this brightness cannot be hidden by anything. In the appearance of a contrasting color, there is a double contrast. For example, the contrast between skin and eyes, the contrast between skin and hair, and so on. The second contrast is bright, eyes and skin, but if her skin is slightly tanned, her coloring will change tremendously. She will move from a contrasting winter into a bright winter, or as in the case of Georgina, sometimes she might even use a warm color palette like spring, which is a tremendous jump. Another contrasting winter is Bellucci. Her appearance contrasts with light skin, dark hair and light skin and dark eyes. Even in the case of summer tan, she preserves this winter type. What you need to know about true winter colors? There is no such thing as too bright for winter. She fades when she puts on dusty summer colors. Yes, and the shades themselves in the winter lose their sophistication and look somewhat rustic. The same comes to plain uh, textures of fabrics. These colors are usually advised against of, but even though the shades can be included, there are nuances here. True winter versus true summer colors. Red color for the winter color type. For the naturally bright appearance of a winter woman, pure, saturated, very bright colors, not diluted with gray, are an ideal choice. Light colors should be very whitened, dark colors should be almost black or pitch black, normally dust and neutral indefinite colors are not for them. What do we see from this collage. The bright red pink blouse is magnificently fitted with her color type. The perfect high contrast is preserved here. In the other pastel pink outlook, uh, one for her doesn't fit her. Why? Because of her skin color at the very moment of the picture being taken. If only she had a higher intensity of the tan, she could definitely use these pastel colors. But not for now, it doesn't suit her. Red for summers. Coral and other shades of red might just be too contrasting for such a delicate appearance as summer. Here we can observe the bright winter red completely overlaps the beauty of the summer type. We can also see that light salmon orange and autumn burgundy all are from the warm color palette, don't fit at all here. If only the actress considered warming up her skin tone, she would automatically widen her color palette horizon. However, we can see that her initial white skin doesn't go well with such tones. Green for summer type. Um, here, green shades are most suitable for the summer type. The dusty turquoise fits like a glove here. If you look at a garden or forest in the summer, you will notice that their greenery is no longer as bright as in the spring. This greenery seems to be a little dustier. Green colors for the winter color type. For winter, you should choose either dark, deep, intense green or very bright ones. There are no nuances in the winter palette. Everything is clear, vivid and definite. Has it been stated previously, the skin tonality will dictate the potential jump to other color palettes. Here we can spot a dusty turquoise, a summer color. It is advised against uh, for winter types. However, let's also consider the warmth of the skin of Georgina. This is the answer if you were looking into other palettes that are not supposed to fit you. And thank you so much for staying here with me and see you in the next episode.